Oh my god! Roasted acorn squash with maple brown butter. Get the f out of here. Hey everyone, Mark here, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. You know what I'm gonna ask you to do, so please do so, hit that subscribe button. Canadian Thanksgiving is just around the corner, so I thought I'd show you maybe something new, something different that you can bring to your Thanksgiving feast. The acorn squash. It's not just a decoration, it's edible, it's delicious, and we're gonna drench it in maple brown butter. So, let's go. All right, let's grab our squashy squash squash. We're gonna cut the ends off and then slice it in half. It can be a bit tough, but just follow along the natural grooves that our squashy squash squash has. Once you get it open, grab a spoon, scoop out the seeds and all that stringy stuff. Of course, you can save the seeds and roast those as well. Then we're gonna slice up our squashy squash squash and just follow the natural grooves again until you get nice little uh, smiley faces. Next up, we're gonna cut up a red onion. And we want to have nice chunks so you can either quarter them or just give them a rough chop. And don't worry about any little onion petals that might fall off. Those are gonna crisp up nicely when we roast. Next up, just slice up some garlic and set aside. Grab your bowl of squashy squash squash, add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. And then we're just gonna give it a toss until everything is nicely coated. We're gonna do the same thing with the red onion. So a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, season with salt and freshly cracked pepper, and just give that a nice toss until everything is nicely coated. And of course, we're gonna do the same thing with the garlic, a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and just give that a toss. I believe that this will prolong the garlic from burning while roasting because it's thinly sliced. Next, grab a sheet pan, crumple up some parchment paper in a ball, and then place it down on your sheet pan. It's a nice little trick to keep the parchment paper from rolling up on you. Let's add our onions, our garlic, and our squashy squash squash. We're gonna add a few pinches of cayenne pepper as well. And then we're gonna roast in the oven at 400 degrees for about 50 to 60 minutes, or until the squash is fork tender and everything looks nicely roasted. Time for our maple brown butter. In a pan on medium heat, melt some butter. You know I love watching butter melt. As the butter is melting, we're gonna keep it stirring with either a whisk or a spatula, and it will foam up on you. Keep stirring until the butter starts to brown, and it will smell a bit nutty. Remember that from Austin Powers? It's a bit nutty. Once that happens, we're gonna add our maple syrup. You're gonna see that it will foam up again, so you might have to take off the heat and put it back on the heat. Continue stirring until the maple syrup caramelizes just a little bit. Add to a bowl and set aside. Look at that luxurious maple brown butter. About halfway through roasting, you can flip your onions and your squashy squash squash, then place it back in the oven. Once everything is finished roasting, take it out of the oven, pour over half of your maple brown butter, and then place under the broiler for about three to four minutes, or until you start to see some nice caramelization on your squashy squash squash. And then we're gonna plate, finish off with the rest of the maple brown butter, and of course, we're gonna finish it with some nice flaky salt. There it is. Now it's time to taste. All right, so I get it. Drench anything in butter, it's gonna taste delicious, but all these flavor profiles coming together, whoo. So I hope you guys give this a go, and as always, the full recipe's in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and until next time, ciao.